Next sample problem, write a thermal chemical equation including a delta H value to represent the exothermic reaction between xenon gas and fluorine gas to produce uh, solid xenon tetrafluoride given that the reaction produces 251 kilojoules per mole of xenon reacted. So what we have is well we've got our xenon gas which is going to react uh, in the presence of fluorine as we said to produce xenon tetra fluoride and this will be in solid form so now what we have here is just our equation so now we want to balance this so we want to balance this. So to balance this, we're going to put a 2 here. So we know that we are producing this much, or our, um, our, our molar enthalpy, right? Our molar enthalpy here, our delta H, um, which is really equal to our N of the H, and we're looking at of a formation right because we're actually forming something so formation so really how many moles of xenon do we have well we only have one mole of xenon right so in other words this value these two values are actually equal to one another so our delta h really doesn't change because look at this the number here in front is really represented by one mole so our value here is equal to minus 251 kilojoules and why is it a minus 251 it doesn't show it here but if we look closely into this question look what it says here exothermic reaction so in an exothermic reaction as we've said before our value here must show a negative for our change in enthalpy 